Did you know that 120,000 square kilometers of arable land are lost globally due to the soil degradation and repurpose? This is more than size of Luxembourg, Belgium, the Netherlands and Denmark combined. And this is only an annual loss. I'm Ivan Stefanic, European Innovation Council Program Manager for Food Supply Technologies and Novel and Sustainable Food. In short, Food and Agritech. What is it we do at European Innovation Council? We support entrepreneurial scientists and visionary entrepreneurs. My main responsibilities are drafting new challenges, proactively managing thematic and challenge portfolios of projects. In practice, this is helping individuals to work as a team, support each other and integrate their solution into comprehensive, reliable, efficient and affordable system that can be implemented in agriculture in food processing. Maybe you heard about challenges within the food supply chain, like agriculture is not sustainable, it pollutes, food prices are on the rise, and food shortages on the horizon. Before jumping to conclusions, let's assess the situation properly. If we have to describe modern agriculture with just one picture, this would be it. This is modern agriculture, heavily dependent on fossil fuels, for machinery, mineral fertilizers, and pesticides, producing monoculture crops on bare soils. Everything else is pest, weed, and unwanted. Killing everything else than a crop with industrial efficiency, mostly with chemicals, no biodiversity. It is true, our current farming methods are not sustainable and not environmentally friendly. And farmers came to this position by listening to scientists, extension agents, equipment, seeds and chemicals producers, even politicians. And they are generally compliant with existing legislation, but they are mostly advised on what not to do, rather than on what to do, to ensure nutritious food for all cultivated in a non-harmful way. By paying attention to biodiversity, soil health, soil cover, crop rotation and association, minimal soil disturbance, and all that in line with principles of agroecology and agroforestry, I'm confident that we can make the food and agri sectors sustainable. The EU made some good decisions, recognizing the importance of soil health, taking coordinated actions, including setting a proper legal framework for reducing pesticides use, and finally, fostering entrepreneurial initiatives. There is no single solution. Every system affects other, positively or negatively. We should keep in mind the bigger picture, and here is why. If we fix all problems in primary production, we can save almost five gigatons of CO2 equivalent emissions. And if we change our food habits and reduce food waste, we can save almost twice that. We have to take a different approach, a holistic, environmentally friendly and socially responsible one. At the European Innovation Council, we go even further, combining a bottom-up and top-down approach so we have open and challenge calls for funding. I'm very proud that we at European Innovation Council recognize the importance of radical innovations for sustainable agriculture with even a dedicated program manager in this sector, me. I proposed two food agri-tech relevant challenges that have been included in European Innovation Council Work Program 23. Let me tell you more about those challenges. Pathfinder Challenge Precision Nutrition is, de is designed for research institutions committed to improving human nutrition and helping us make more informed and healthier decisions. And I'm not talking here about proper sources of protein, enough fibers and food ingredients which are not depleted of nutrients and contaminated with various chemical and biological substances. It is actually much more. It is about having better quality food that prevents various food-related health conditions and non-communicable chronic diseases, alleviating their consequences and improving quality of life. Accelerator Challenge novel technologies for resilient agriculture. This is designed to support startups and SMEs that aim to provide complete solutions 
solving critical issues in crop protection, soil tillage, irrigation, fertilization, and all that supported by intense digitalization. If you don't have proposals suitable for agri-food challenges, don't worry. You can still apply to EIC open calls. You might ask yourself a question. How can the EIC, with a limited budget, change a sector as big as the food supply chain? Let me show you how. Start your entrepreneurial journey with us with a small booster grant of 50,000 euros. Then apply for Pathfinder funding to develop your research project. Later, when you have your proof of concept and would like to commercialize your findings, you can apply to the transition program or directly to Accelerator and become a part of the Accelerator portfolio. The change we need cannot be achieved with incremental innovations only with deep tech and disruptive one. They are expensive and take time to develop. So we support the entire innovation development, startup and scale up path. Here at the EIC, with 10 European Innovation Council program managers guiding the way to game-changing, life-changing innovation and transformation. We have indeed done many things wrong in agriculture, but we have a lot to be positive about. Significant res results are already available or coming soon. Precision fermentation has made amazing progress producing a large array of edible and non-edible substances. Non-chemical crop protection with help of autonomous electric weeders and robotic harvesters are not anymore a science fiction. Very soon, we might produce fertilizer-free crops. Thank you for listening and welcome to the future of agriculture, which is sustainable and not just more sustainable. I also invite you to join us in our mission to make that happen as soon as possible.